Chapter 26, As Round as a Ball. Zhu Tui caught and carried in Zhao Xoxui in the end. Zhu Tui could not bear to watch the fainted and Zhao Xoxui fall onto the ground. She would have fallen face first onto the ground if he did not catch her. There were several sharp rocks on the ground. She was a little soft, a little fragrant. This was the third time Zhu Tui was hugging a woman in his life. The first was when he hugged his mother. The second, according to what his father told him, he had grappled with a female classmate who had snatched over his eraser during his first year in elementary school. And Zhao Xoxui was the third woman. However, at this moment, Su Tui did not have any indecent thoughts. On the other side, the military personnel had already started to set up a temporary defense base and a new line of defense. They wanted to prevent the traitor organization from turning around and attacking them again, even though that possibility was not high. Come, carry Cheng Mo. Well go over to that side, Zhu Tui said, pointing toward the ordinary male student whose name he did not remember. Even though the male student had introduced himself during the gathering on the bus just now, too many students had announced their names just now. Zhu Tui did not remember all of them. Ordinary meant that he was not handsome. He was not as unique as Zhu Tui. Zhu Tui Washington. Zhu Tui carried and Zhao Xoxui in his arms, while the not handsome male student carried Cheng Mo on his back. Gong Ling supported herself against Zhu Tui's arm. They staggered as they made their way toward the defensive base that had been rapidly set up. Zhu Tui removed his jacket and placed it on the ground, then set and Zhao Xoxui on top of the jacket. Gong Ling, take care of Miss An. Mozi, wait a moment, I'll go look for a doctor. Cheng Mo insisted that he was fine, but blood would flow out of his mouth every time he coughed. Zhu Tui was very worried. Not far away, Colonel Liu Tianhu, who was standing with his spear in hand, looked at the still alive traitor, Chai Yifang. His expression was that of fury, as well as a little guilt. I was wrong. I should have insisted on investigating Chai Yifang. The intelligence staff had a look of remorse. Liu Tianhu shook his head slowly. You are not wrong. You've done your duty. This Chai Yifang was really clean. He even got back from the extraterrestrial battlefield. It is us that I am the wrong one. Excuse me, is there a military doctor here? Zhu Tui's voice rang out. At this moment, it was most suitable to ask the person with the highest rank if he needed a doctor. Zhu Tui did not recognize Liu Tianhu. Liu Tianhu did not recognize Zhu Tui either. However, he did know of Zhu Tui's name. Yes. He should be giving emergency treatment to someone else now. You can get the military doctor to tend to your situation first if you have anything urgent at your side, Liu Tian who answered slowly. This is the student that noticed something wrong with Chai Yifeng. The intelligence staff had seen the surveillance footage and recognized Zhu Tui. Liu Tian his body trembled slightly. He observed Zhu Tui again. You are the one who noticed it. What's your name? Zhu Tui. Liu Tian his expression froze. It was that student. Zhu Tui glanced at Liu Tianhu. He should be the highest in command. Judging from the situation, Liu Tianhu must have received his report but did not do anything about it. If the highest in command had taken his report more seriously, the situation that they were facing might have become completely different. To some extent, from Zhu Tui's perspective, the deaths and casualties in front of them had been caused by this person that he was looking up to. Thus, Zhu Tui had not been scolded when he approached them. My teacher, and Zhao Xoxui, had fainted after she activated her powers just now. I do not know what happened to her. Is she in danger? Zhu Tui asked. Liu Tianhu could naturally detect the anger in Zhu Tui's voice. He knew the source of Zhu Tui's anger. However, there were no ifs in this world. There were no I didn't think that's either. No one could have thought that the traitor Chai Yi Fang could have hidden himself that well. He managed to pass all of the screenings of Jinchang Prefecture and was even assigned to the important bus 3. However, on the other hand, shouldn't traitors be so well hidden that people would not expect it? Professor In, Sheshold have fainted because she exhausted her mind power. Get a level D amine-based stimulant for her. A guard immediately retrieved a syringe from a sturdy-looking bag and handed it over to Zhu Tui. It will take effect in 5 minutes if you inject it into her muscles. She should wake up 15 minutes after the drug takes effect. 
It will take effect in 30 seconds if you inject it into her veins. However, she might feel a little uncomfortable. She might experience symptoms like headaches. I will advise injecting it into the muscles. The guard fulfilled his responsibilities well. Zhu Tui fetched over the medication and thanked the guard. He turned and was about to leave when he suddenly turned around and asked, Are there any side effects? Would it harm Professor N's body? Are there any residual effects? The guard's expression instantly turned dark. Who asked questions like those? It made it seem like he was trying to harm her. There are no residual effects, nor would it harm her body. There are slight side effects but they would be cleared out in half a day, Liu Tianhu said. Oh, Zhu Tui turned to leave. I'm sorry, I apologize. I did not take your report seriously. Liu Tianhu's voice suddenly rang out behind him. Zhu Tui stopped in his tracks. He raised his hand and pointed around him. Students were howling because they were injured. There were injured, even dismembered, soldiers. There were even corpses that had turned cold. Finally, Su Tua's finger and gaze landed on the headless corpse of the security guard in bus 3. His finger was trembling slightly. Instantly, Liu Tianhe's face turned pale. His lips trembled uncontrollably. He understood what Su Tui meant. How old was that guard? Zhu Tui suddenly asked with a shaky voice. Liu Tianhu immediately had a pathetic look on his face. The intelligence staff was speechless. Only the guard answered, he he was only 21. He felt his heart thump. Zhu Tui ran quickly toward the temporary defense base. The tears that had been welling up in the corner of his eyes finally dropped. They were hot. Soon, they injected the level D amine-based stimulant into in Zhao Xu's muscles. Zhu Tui correctly chose the deltoid as the injection site, even though the difficulty of administering an injection there was above average. Zhu Tui immediately ignored the two other choices he had, which were the muscles in the butt and those at the side of her upper thigh. The difficulty of administering an injection there was below average, but the side effects Zhu Tui would experience after the injection might be nightmarish. Zhu Tui had a strong desire to live. The abilities that Njauk Sokswe had displayed before she fainted made Zhu Tui feel that he had to be more reserved in front of Njauk Sokswe. The military doctor had also come to have a look at Cheng Mo's injuries. He was fortunate. Cheng Mo had fractured three ribs but not at an extreme angle. The ribs did not pierce into any major organs. He had also fractured his left radial bone and had abrasions on his chest and abdomen. Based on the current medical technology, Cheng Mo should be able to completely recover in a month. That was still a problem for Cheng Mo. The three months after being administered with the genetic liberation elixir was a period that an individual's ability would rapidly be enhanced. Cheng Mo would fall behind if he had to rest for a month. It's alright, didn't I activate the genetic base points in my stomach? Resting for a month would not hinder my eating, Cheng Mo said exaggeratedly. Zhu Tui became angry, and he scolded Cheng Mo. I am worried that you would become as round as a ball if you do not move for a month. Cheng Mo's lips started to twitch. The hurried movements of the soldiers and the teachers in charge slowed down temporarily. The search and rescue missions had been completed. They had lit up a large fire in the temporary defense base. The portable infrasonic machine was also in operation to drive the bugs from the forest away from the base. Two students had died. Eleven was severely injured. More than half of them had small injuries. Two of the teachers in charge had severe injuries. The rest of them were also injured in some way. Seven security guards had sacrificed themselves for the students, while 15 others were severely injured. They had also gained much from the battle. They killed 46 members of the traitor organization and captured five people. The people they killed and captured were all genetic liberators. Most of them were level E or level D, but they also managed to kill seven level C genetic liberators. They killed one level B genetic liberator the modified human, Ahu. They also killed three level E genetic mutants. They captured an experienced spy. Currently, the results of the pursuit from the emergency fighter jet fleet were not announced yet. However, they did manage to achieve much from the battle just based on those results alone. Then again, no matter how much they achieved, it did not seem as important in front of the people that had died, become injured, or sacrificed themselves. In Zutu's eyes, 
he would rather not have any achievements and any sacrifices. The atmosphere in the temporary defense base was very heavy and suppressed. However, the fleet of reinforcement vehicles that had rushed over and arrived half an hour later finally gave the fearful students a sense of safety. Many of the students cried on the spot when they saw the line of headlights appearing from far away. And Jouk Sakswi had also woken up. She saw her lifted sleeve the moment she woke up. She furrowed her brows slightly and could not help but look towards Utui. She had been a little conscious before she fainted. The last image she saw was Zutun extending his hand to catch her. This sleeve. Zutui, who had a strong desire to live, quickly handed her the syringe. Level D amine-based stimulant. I administered it. And Zhao Xaxui nodded, Zutui passed. Suddenly, and Zhao Xu's voice turned cold. She had just sat up and was looking towards Zutui. The blood on my face and neck, did you clean those? Her gaze caused Zutun to tremble. The jarring image of the female Shura like in Zhaoxaxui suddenly appeared in Zutua's mind. Miss Anne, I cleaned that up for you. Gong Ling's sweet voice rang out. Zutui heaved a sigh of relief. Fortunately, he acted wisely. What's the situation now? And Zhaoxaxui inquired. Zutui reported what he generally understood to an Zhaoxaxui. The death and injury toll caused Njauk Saksui to have a heavy expression, clearly, and Njauk Saksui had been through much more than what Zutu had been through. What about the traitor, Cha Yi Feng? Is he still alive? And Njauk Saksui suddenly asked. He is still alive, Zutu confirmed. Go, help me over there to have a look, and Njauk Saksui said. Why do you want to look at that traitor? Zutu was startled. I want to see how they are going to deal with him and if there are any new developments. Zhu Tui nodded and quickly moved forward to help in Zhao Xaxui. However, he was pushed away by her with a look of disdain. Did I ask you to help me? Zhu Tui froze. He could not wrap his head around the situation. Didn't in Zhao Xaxui ask to be helped over? Zhu Tui, you are overthinking it. Miss An asked me to help her. Gong Ling let out a sweet smile and walked toward in Zhao Xaxui. Zutui had a depressed expression. He had carried her just a few minutes ago, but he was now being despised, 